Welcome back to the Lee and Haley Show. We're with our old friend Greg here. Nature Reliance School, they teach everything you need to uh, survive the wilderness. That's right. Just one of the many aspects of what this guy is educating people about. Survive and excel. I mean, just give us a rundown of some of the things that you teach people how to do. Survival, land navigation, tracking, bushcraft, uh, nature immersion. We do it so all many in the jokes woods. about bushcraft, uh, but I won't bring them up. <laughs> we appreciate you no, for I'm, not. I'm not. Mm -hmm. I shouldn't even have said it. So today we are going to learn about winter layering, as far as best ways to keep warm, the gear you need to have, and how to properly layer items. Every survivalist knows you start with the basics, and that means a thong. Mm -hmm. We've actually taken some survival classes with Craig before. That's so could I throw right you off, Craig? Could I throw you off? Go ahead. If I did crazy legs, <laughs> there's no way you can track this. No way at all. Look, oh, another clue. It's a pin that has Haley Harmon on it. No, it doesn't. I'm obsessed with woodland nudity. <laughs> so this was your favorite segment with Lee ever, right? You know, uh, you didn't transfer. What are we going to learn today about what you put on your human case to stay I, warm? Well, because I would assume, and this applies to anybody, let's say you're <clears> traveling <throat> somewhere and you get snowed in, you should have some extra layers in the car just in case. Without yeah, this doubt. isn't just for outdoorsmen or outdoors women, whoever. This is, yeah, for anybody that might be traveling and get stuck outdoors and not be meaning to. Or if I'm going to go to a ball game, say a football game, and I'm going to sit outside for a while, why wouldn't I layer exactly. up? Exactly. I agree 100%. Yeah. All right, thanks for coming in. We appreciate it. <laughs> so, see you we'll later. See the first thing we don't want to do is put cotton against our skin. Cotton holds moisture. So really? a wetsuit would be horrible. I thought the way, now correct me if I am wrong, a wetsuit actually brings the water, it actually you get wet while you're wearing a wetsuit, but it holds that water against you, so now it becomes sort of a seal. Correct. So it is that moisture. Would, that would be bad. Yeah, that, that would, would be bad. bad. Yeah, that's, that's what I thought that would if be bad. If you're just wearing, going in the snow in a wetsuit, that would be bad, Lee. Sorry, I thought you might be layering with it. So. I thought so too, and I was like, are you telling me when uh, you've gone to a football game in the stands during the winter, you've got a wetsuit on under your coat? Snorkel and flippers. <laughs> So the first thing you don't want to do, yeah, let's start no with the cotton. don'ts. No cotton, and as then, the first layer at least. And Correct, okay. and then wear a, some sort of synthetic. So beyond that, you want to wear something that protects your core. Your core, this part of your body, not necessarily your arms and your legs, but your core is where heat is generated. My mom always calls it your trunk. Trunk, it's fine. You can call it trunk, right, cool. core, whatever. Cool. Trunk, whatever. I'm going to teach you some cool military special forces stuff you want to learn. Yes. Well, yes. How to heat up your core. I learned this from a special forces operator. <gasps> Ready? Take your hands. Do like this. Rub. Done. It's also That's universal it? signal that for quick? a great meal. <laughs> oh. Boy, that was oh. good eating. But I'm a little cold. <laughs> okay, so the first layer. Um, Synthetic polyester. Synthetic like polyester that. with. Then a vest on top of that. Oh, then a vest. Okay, because and so we're talking, are we talking just core or are we talking legs too for that first layer? Oh, you, it depends on how cold it is. If okay. you can, it depends on what you're doing. Like if I'm okay. doing something where I'm hiking, I probably wouldn't wear a lot of stuff on my legs because I'm going to be moving a okay. whole lot. I don't want to get overheated. Layer three. Lee, what's your guess? What do you think it is? Oh, it's got to be, I would say, a Windsor knot or maybe an ascot. Something with a foot. Hey, that's not a bad idea. Yeah, I mean, uh, protect not, your neck. Not a bad idea. Uh, and the reason I say that is you lose a significant amount of body heat out of any portion of your body that's exposed. All right, so should we see an example? Yeah, we can look at a what bunch you, of different things. What do you got? Uh, we have a wicking t shirt. That would oh, be this would have been the initial layer? Mm -hmm. That would be a And I wear that shirt all the time. That's a great layer. Yeah. A gain sorry. man. Gain, spring flings. Oh, gain. I actually yes, don't know. I didn't know what you said. <laughs> what you said. What are you doing? Are you putting it on? Oh, yeah. Let's layer up. I think he is. It's inside okay. out. It's Let's... not going to matter. <laughs> All right. Looking good. All right, We're so that's there. your initial layer. All right. And then you have a couple choices. You can have something with a synthetic insulator in it. Uh, or you can use a merino wool. Merino wool. Now, why would you use this over that? This? Yeah. Because this will continue to insulate when it's wet. Negative. You know, you're right. Because I've been caught in a rainstorm in one you of these I'm things. You think I'm right? You I'm are right. I've written a book on this, man. Oh. Literally. Yes. Oh, I really like this vest. It actually mm. is really nice. Looks good. Shut up. Hey, I can also throw one of these on. Yeah, that's another nice insulated vest, yeah. Do yeah. that. The double vest. Now, if this gets wet, that would be a problem. Yeah. That, like, where I go into the outdoors a lot, I don't wear this often. <laughs> 
check the forecast first? Right. This is something for the ball game, something a little bit heavier with, that's it, actually got down in it. Mm. Down is a fantastic is a nice layer. Piece. But, but I want to be real clear, down would be terrible if it got wet. Yes, so mm. this is something Quits that's great insulated. for warmth, but yeah, if great. It, even if you I can... like this though, you all, for, for a vehicle stoppage. Like you get stuck in a car and you've got this available oh, for you to yeah. put on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. This is what has always happened with me and Craig. I've taken his idea and improved it. You put one of these over top of jacket. Over the jacket. That's correct. I am sealing in the juices. Yeah. No joke you are. You've got to be getting warm. Wow. And shut up. <laughs> All right, now, Lee, I need you to do a series of bits where you pretend that you are stranded in your car. <laughs> What is but you've now found a little cafe down the road and you run in and ask for help. Now, a scene. Scene one. Whiskey? I can't feel anything. <laughs> I'll be back in here in a second. But first, I'm going outside to urinate. All right, if you'd like to learn more about cold weather layering or any other survivalist or nature skills, you can contact our buddy Craig at the Nature Reliance School, take one of his courses, or hey, pick up one of his books, including his new children's book. Craig, thank you. Thank you. Lee, it's always a pleasure. Cuddle always up. Always a pleasure. We'll be right back. More Lee and Haley after this.